In this video, I'm going to show you how to connect make.com to Webflow so you can directly post text and images to your Webflow site. It's really easy to get set up with this and then you can use this as a building block to create far more complex automations. Let's get started. I've set up a Webflow account from scratch that we can use for this. And I have this Airtable base where I have the article title and the article text. I just have some dummy text in here with some formatting and a featured image, which I just generated using Flux One. Of course, you could generate this using AI. We have multiple blueprints on our YouTube channels as well as in our community where we go far more into detail with this, but I'm keeping things simple to start with so you understand how the integration works and then you can adapt it to the more advanced use cases later. To get started, all we need to do is go to Airtable and I'm gonna select search records. I'm gonna go all the way down to this Webflow base that I've just created. I'm gonna select my table of posts. You see in my Airtable base here, I have the article title and I have the status. So this status has options of open and publish to Webflow and publish. So three statuses and then the article text and a featured image as an attachment type. I want make to pick up records where the status is published to Webflow. Go to formula, open a curly bracket, status equals to publish to Webflow. And I'll go limit of one for the moment to only pick up one record every time I press run once. And there we go, it's picked up this record, which is great. Now I select this plus button here and I type in Webflow. I'm gonna select show more and go to create an item. So we wanna create an item for a collection. When you're doing this the first time around, you need to press add and then I'll click save. And then a window like this will pop up. I'll just check the boxes and press authorize app. Perfect, that looks good. So that's really, really fast to get set up. Now we just select our website and the collection will be blog posts. And the name of the blog post will be the article title from Airtable and the post body will be the article text. And we'll just do that to start with. For the image, all we need to do is pass the URL from Airtable and then Webflow will grab that image and then store it on its own servers, which is very handy. So that's a quite a quick way to get up and running with this. Sometimes it's more difficult than that for other website builders, so that's really useful. So now we have the featured image URL. I'm just passing the same image URL, which is this image, to both the URL and the thumbnail image. This will be the thumbnail and then the URL will be the bigger image in the blog post. I'm just passing both of these for the moment. You could also use the make.com resize module to make a smaller version of the image. I'm just keeping things simple for the moment. So I'll press OK, press save, and I'll press run once. Now I'll go to the CMS section in Webflow here and go into this. I will view the content of the blog post. I'll mark that as published and then we can look at that then. I'll just refresh the page. The image has shown up and the article title has shown up but the text is shown up in this markdown format, as you see here. So how can we improve this? As you see here, we've used this Airtable formatting, and when it comes through to make.com, you see this article text, it's in this markdown format style. So what we can do instead is add a module here and go to markdown and then markdown to HTML. And then we'll select the article text from there. I'll press save, and then I'll go down to the Webflow create an item. And then instead of passing the article text from Airtable, I'm gonna pass the HTML from this markdown module. I'll press OK, press save, and then I'll run once again. So we'll have a look at the response there, which looks okay to me. I'll go back to the CMS. Okay, this is the second version of that, and that is now looking a lot better. We have text, we have bullet points, and a heading. Of course, you can then update spacing and whatever you want from within the Webflow page builder. When I open this image in a new tab, I can see that that image is stored on Webflow servers which is perfect. Finally, we want to update the status on Airtable because otherwise this integration is just constantly going to be picking up the same article again and again and again. So we go to add a new module. I'll select Airtable. I'll select Airtable or search for it if required. And then I'll select update a record. I'll select this Webflow base, table of posts. The record ID will be the ID from the starting module in the search records. And the status, I'll uncheck map here. So that might be checked for you. Then I've moved this to published. Press OK, press save. And now I've added, I'll add a limit of 10 here. So it will pick up 10 at a time. And there we go. It's just pushed two articles to Webflow. So we have these two articles showing up and then this status has automatically been updated to published. As you can see, it's super easy to upload content items to Webflow using tools like make.com and you can use virtually any data source. If you want to get way ahead in your AI automations, then check out the link in the description to our community where you'll get access to all of our automation templates. You get access to all of these courses and more are on the way and you can get support from us directly via our live workshops and our active community. Thanks for watching.